This is the moment we've been waiting for. The cars you'll spend the next 72 hours rebuilding are 1969 Volkswagen Bugs. Oh, no. Originally designed by Volkswagen in 1935, with over 21 million manufactured, the Beetle is the worldwide longest running and most manufactured automobile of a single design platform. I'm super stoked. I had one of these as my first car, and I've worked on zillions of them. Another 19. I love Volkswagens. We need the bigger motor. We just got to have the big engine. Lift up the front bumper. No, I can't get the wrench on it. Raise the lift a little. I can't loosen any of them. They're totally jammed. Despite his VW mastery, Ian suddenly runs into trouble when he discovers the old bug's engine bolts are not budging. You're kidding me. Ian struggles with his setback. The rest of the All-Stars can only watch. In looking at the rear tires on the Bug, I knew that low profile wasn't what I needed. I wanted a big, fat tire with a huge contact patch, something that looked more hot rod. All right, I got all these ideas about this Bug, and it's basically like a chop top hot rod, like they do to T-Buckets, but to a VW Bug. This car is kind of like my high school dream ride. I've been thinking about this for literally 20 years. So we're going to basically bob off the front of the car and the back of the car, put this giant motor in it, and chop the top. Typical hot rod formula. We're going to go with a chop, muscle-looking roadster out of a Volkswagen. How cool is that? What do you got yeah, going? Well, we got a burgundy top. We're going to rip it apart. Uh, some metal panels down below. How about the interior? We're going to try to make a center drive. One seat, cockpit style. Oh, that would be, be sick. We're going big. We're going to do a center drive and put one seat right in the middle of this car. The center drive repositions the entire steering and pedal assembly to the center of the car. It requires extreme fabrication to connect the reassembly to the suspension. And it's a very ambitious undertaking in a 72-hour build. We're going to go big. We always go big. We're not here to play it safe. Get to work. All stars. Yeah. I'm building a structure inside the body of the car because we're going to cut the roof off. This is super important because if you do it wrong, the whole car could buckle and the doors will never close right. The All Stars are off to a great start. Ian leading the charge as their VW expert. A lot of the All Stars are asking me opinions and questions on how to put this thing together, and I'm the go-to guy. I've had these cars since I was 15 years old. I know everything about them. Ian is a welding madman right now, so challengers better be ready. Over the next half day, the All-Stars work hard on their chop top. They cut the roof to the desired height and then weld it back to the body. And just over 24 hours into the build, they finish it. The All-Stars are systematically crossing things off their list. They remove their fenders. Rhino has completed his hood artwork F-bomb! And their interior is progressing. Now they're turning their attention to their complicated center drive modification. The center drive has turned out to be a lot of work. Oh. The center drive modification involves two major radical steps. First, moving the steering column. Second, rerouting the pedals to the middle. This is uncharted territory for the All-Stars and could take a very long time to complete. But not everyone is on board with this ambitious idea. You got the steering wheel right over the shifter. You got the seat in the middle. Now you got to move the pedal assembly. And for what? It's an impractical look. It's not a race car. It's not a drag car. It's a street car. The center seat thing is going to look really, really cool, or it's going to sink us in the judging. The All-Stars complicated center drive fabrication is causing them to fall way behind. And some members of the team place the blame on Scott. It's a questionable move. It presents a lot of extra work and a lot of extra problems. Are we doing enough to this car? Is that enough? No, we're not doing enough. Oh, I know. You're going to keep going overboard like you always do. That's too much, dude. Well, it's too late. 
Once you get a whole interior to build, then start doing body work. What? Then start doing body work. I think Scott's fighting off way more than he can choose, and he's taking out a fabrication to an interior that's gonna really screw us over, I think. It's a dumb idea, dude. Oh well, whatever. The whole center steering thing is kind of weird. You a fan <laughs> of the center steering? I'm not a fan of the center steering. We got three people standing around complaining about the work that's going on. What? I said we got three people standing around complaining about I'm the work. Because I'm not a that's body on. guy, and I don't I think the seats are not a welder idea in the middle. I'm not a painter. I'm not a welder. I'm not a wet sander. But I've done all of that. I've also helped you guys out for a day and a half too. Come on. I help everybody else out, and then when it comes to my department, they all go to bed and leave me by myself. So it's just getting old. I'm tired of tired of dealing with this kind of crap. You know, Rhino wants to paint the car for the entire build, and we got a lot of modifications that we want to do to make this thing over the top. And I get it, but pitch in, you know, help get the car to paint. There's a lot of work to get this car prepped and ready to go to paint. If you're not willing to help and, and do that, I'm not willing to listen to you. Stupid. He's like, I don't do body work. I said, dude, I don't do paint. I don't do welding. I don't do fabrication, but that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm just sick and tired of people doing a bunch of stuff that isn't really unnecessary, and it's really unsafe, and I mean, whatever happens, happens, I guess. But in the long run, it's going to us all in time to paint. How many cars have I wet sanded? How many cars have I blocked? That's nothing to do with me. That's my, I do interior, dude. I'm fabricating. I'm doing metal work. Anything that needs to be done, I'm doing. I'm just a little concerned about the uh, final assembly, and in particular, the steering. The center steering? You don't like it? It's not that I don't like it. It's that I'm, I'm a little afraid that uh, it may not be in the best interest of the build. What's that? The steering. I'm a little scared. Now are you going to talk about it? There's three other people that were involved in that decision. I wasn't one of them. You had your chance. Let me tell you something. I, it, it looks like a rank amateur thing. Itchy, why don't you do something instructive for once and not back us up by just running your mouth nonstop? You're way over your head on fabrication. You're young, dumb, and inexperienced. You got work to do that should have been done because you stepped out of your field and you took on a job that you can't handle, that you're fully committed to a bad idea. The decision is made to get the car in the booth, postponing work until Rhino has completed painting. What's up? Meanwhile, Rhino is done painting the bug. I think my paint job came out pretty cool, and I did it in a kick-ass time. I think I did it in six, eight hours. It's pretty good. With the all-stars out of paint, they are now on to step four, engine installation. Got it? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to. Nice. Engine 10, four bolts. <laughs> but Ian quickly notices a flaw in their design. There's a huge space between the motor and the bottom of the back of the roof. This mistake is a big design eyesore that will lose points with the judges. To cover this gap, Ian is going to redesign the exhaust pipes. Wait till everybody sees what I got in store for the exhaust. That is a fucking thing of beauty, Ian. Ian's exhaust is like the topping on the cake. I think that is going to really impress the judges. How are we looking? Pretty good? Semi good? Not good? Not good. Not good. Instead of wasting more time on the center drive installation, Scott passes those duties off to Ian so he can scramble to catch up on the interior work. Scott has to construct the rear side panels, sculpt the foam, and assemble the dashboard. Time has just become a major factor, so I've got to really cut back on what I was going to do overall. Got to work, guys. Got to work. 
To make matters worse for the All-Stars, Ian is desperately struggling with the center drive modifications. It's just so many pieces. I don't know, it's way more complicated. If we get this thing done, it's gonna be some kind of a miracle. Because they are short on time, Ian needs to reroute the pedals by any means necessary. He's fabricating two pieces of metal that will essentially loop around and extend the original pedals to the center. This will result in the gas pedal now being on the left and the brake pedal on the right. Bottom line with what I'm doing here, it has no aesthetic value at all. It just has to stop and go. And I can't even seem to get it to do that. As Ian tries to make the pedal setup work, the rest of the All-Stars wait and the clock keeps ticking. I need to do carpeting, but I can't do carpeting because he needs to weld. And if he welds on my carpeting, he'll set it on fire. I'm horrified with these pedals. I don't even know if they're going to work. Five hours left. Ian finally finishes the All-Star Center Drive. All right, done. Carpet, dashboard, and seats get installed. I honestly blame the center drive for this whole time crunch. We're down to the wire here. Every motor has variables. Get the throttle linkage hooked up, make sure the timing's right, and get it wired. The All-Stars race to start their engine. This car's my baby. This engine's got to start. We are not going to finish this build without it running. 30 seconds left. The All-Stars engine has yet to start. I just got amped. Told him to throw fuel in the carb and get it. <laughs> now it's time to reveal the cars. The F bomb. <laughs> Sign sealed delivered from the car warriors. We drop a lot of F bombs on the build. Hey, it fit perfectly. We have built a badass ride. We don't even need the judges this week, they can take the week off. The All-Stars tires have a wide tread pattern to give it a hot rod stance and superior handling. 